Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about after and before charting function. So if you have seen my previous video, I have explained the above and below charting function where I have explained that by using these above and below functions how you can find the difference from current month to last month or from last month to current month. Uh, and in a similar way, uh, we will see how we can use after and before function in a pivot table kind of structure. because uh, Above and below functions work well when you have a structure in a simple table. But uh, when it comes to your uh, pivot table, then after and below, after and before function works well. So let's see uh, how you can use it. And then I will explain uh, a one quick uh, business specific scenario uh, about where it is really useful. So let's go into this chart properties. So far I have done nothing but I have just taken two dimensions here and month. In the expressions I have just taken the sum of data it is basically nothing but the air passengers that you have in various months across the years. And then we are just going to add a uh, function like uh, below maybe, I am sorry uh, before. And then we will just take uh, the same expression that we have taken earlier. And we want to say that we want to go one step back. So I've just specified one. Click OK. And once I click apply, you can see here my function is now appearing. And because Jan is the start of the year, that's why there is nothing prior to that. That's the condition I have. And in Feb, you can see the Jan data is coming. Now once I have taken the Jan data in Feb column over here, let me just drag it a little bit above so you can clearly see. Yeah, so in fab columns, now I have the gen data. That's what this function is saying that go one step back or before one this current column. So in fab, I have gen data. In March, I have fab data. And now I can do whatever calculation I need, like similar to here in above and below function. I can do a difference, find a percentage, you know, according to my business requirement. So similarly, before you have after, so after is nothing but after the current column, uh, you want to pick some data and uh, here I've just changed from before to after and I'm saying go one step after the current column, click apply and now you can see in Jan column, I have the fab data like this and in the last column, there will be no data. So last column will be December and there will be no data for that. Similar to similar to the case of before before function where we had no data for Jan. So now uh, I have just explained how you can simply go ahead and use this thing and do the calculation if if the condition arises for you to pick uh, the data from the previous columns or uh, after the current column. But uh, one quick scenario where I have really used it and found uh, uh, much helpful is something like figuring out uh, the quarter over quarter or year over year calculations. So something like uh, if my Jan, Feb and March is the first quarter and my next quarter is uh, starting from April and I want to do a comparison between the April data and the Jan data, then it is something like uh, uh, I can just say before and uh, quickly go to three step back. So from current column go to three column back that means Mar first column March, second Feb, third is Jan. So go to three step back and fetch the data. Once I click apply, you can see in, in my April column, now Jan data is coming which is 112115 which is appearing over here. And now I can do my uh, quick quarter over quarter comparison if I, if I really want to uh, have that kind of a condition. So one thing is important to understand is uh, the more you go once, more step you can you go back or after, the more data you lose. So here we have gone three step back, and you can see your Jan, Feb, and March data has gone. Similarly, in the case of after, if you are going three step after to the current column, then your last three months data will not be appearing. So this is the one thing to remember and uh, uh, is helpful when you are doing this kind of a calculation. So I hope you have found this video useful and I will meet you in the next video with a new topic.